see here, kid. You gotta just go for it. Hello, everyone. Grumpy Man here, bringing you another preview of a game. This is the Alaskan Truck Simulator demo. So this is a game that's been hyped up for quite a while now. Um, we're gonna take a look at it together, see what we think. Uh, this this is um, kind of like the the dangerous paths prologue that we played. Um, this also does not have saving. So rather than you know quitting after 20 or 30 minutes and doing a couple short episodes because there's no saving, um, we might just, I think we're just going to make this one, you know, one big episode. So you'll probably see the, the episode lengths a bit longer than usual. Uh, unfortunately, that's just going to be the case due to the, due to what's happening with uh, the, the, you know, the experience is, is meant to be played all in one sitting, apparently. So I think we'll give that a go and see how it comes out. Um, so yeah, let's launch straight into it here. Some very stylized art for the loading screen. That's interesting. It looks like you can have a, that looks like kind of like what you have on a dump truck, right? But it's an, an 18 wheeler, um, you know, a fifth wheel trailer. Pretty interesting. Uh, we'll see what the demo allows us to do. Um, let's see, I'm, I am using an Xbox controller for this. Uh, I figured I'd check it out. We'll see what, it, and then if it seems like much like that other, you know, much like the other trucking game we, we took a look at, if it seems like it's worthwhile physics wise to hook up a, a wheel, you know, maybe when we on the full release, we can hook up the, I can hook up the wheel, uh, and try that. But you know, I don't really have, I don't have like a Thrustmaster or a Logitech like a lot of people do. I have a Direct Drive setup with, you know, a different, you know, a standalone set of pedals and a standalone shifter, and they're all from different companies, right? And they're just kind of USB devices. So, a lot of the kind of lower budget games are the games that aren't really s focused on realistic driving. They don't support those types of things. All right, so we got to go to the fridge, it looks like. Oh, there's reindeer meat. Do we want that? Okay. You have all the ingredients, put the reindeer meat. Oh, okay, so we've got some instructions in the corner there. And we close. Cooker, the co AKA oven. <laughs> okay, hold to cook. There we go. Oh, there we go. So I guess we need to eat. Looks like the little apple on the top there is low already. They start you low, so they kind of teach you to... I'm sure there's a little tutorial here. They're teaching you that eating is a good thing. As if we needed to hear that. Um, one thing I am going to look for is... Do they have an FPS counter? No. No. Uh, FPS limit? No, I don't see an FPS counter. That's unfortunate. All right. All right. Let's see. Open your inventory with up on... The D-pad. Click and hold on the reindeer meat to eat it. There we go. Plus 82% food. Hold to eat. There we go. Look at that. We're full. Good job. All right. Go to the table and grab four items. So chains, car tools, nails, and a hammer. Yeah, those seem like useful things. Exit the base. Do we want to poke around at all? Any secrets? Can we climb the ladder? We can jump, although it doesn't seem... Oof, it seems a little stuttery in certain spots. And we can kind of make our way. Nope, that's where we hit our jump limit. All right. Got a little uh, office over here. Nothing we can take. Ooh, I can not... I can, I can sort of, but not really play with the computer. Okay, good to know. Oh, and then we have something else over here. A closet. Another computer. No? Can't play with that one either. Alright. The uh, the right stick view is, of course, the, the y-axis is, of course, backwards to how I like it. Naturally. I didn't see an option to change it again, just like in so many games. It's so disappointing. It's amazing how many games allow you to invert your mouse, but not, not your right, not the controls on a controller, not the right stick. Start the engine. Okay. Oh, all right. So we can look at it. I got it. 
Highlight all interactive elements with left. Oh, look at this. Ooh, all right. Hit the lights. Maybe. Okay, so we got on. It's interesting it makes a pneumatic noise for the lights, but, you know, we'll go with it. So that's probably low beams. Dash lights, sure. Yep, we're going to want those. Don't need wipers. Handbrake, we're going to need that before we leave. Now hit the road. All right, well, I hit the road. I'm going to have to turn the handbrake off. It's not pretty good. The cursor disappears and then reappears. It's a little bit... Is that, is that off or off? And we're going to need to shift up. I put it in semi-automatic mode. So that I don't have to deal with a clutch. Alright. Press F1 to open the cheat sheet. Oh, they want me to do it. I got it. Uh, base. Get ready. Yep, gas station. We're going to go to the gas station. Okay. Go to a store. Yep. Accept a new... Assignment and hook up the trailer. That's at the quarry. Where's oh, okay, way down there. This is your final destination. Transport your cargo and finish the task. Okay. Gameplay tips. Okay, sure. All right. Can I set a waypoint, maybe? Aha! See, there we go. Map for M. Uh, Z is add stop. All right. Maybe? Where? There we go. Right click. We got it. Uh, gas station, which is flashing, so that's good. The, um... Oh, there it goes. Let's say the little hints seem to have disappeared. I will lose health and low temperatures. Okay. Uh oh Look at that. We can turn the heater on. Follow your GPS route to Cantwell Gas Station. You think you'd just leave it on if you lived in Alaska? Um, oh, okay. So I want to remap that. All right, that's all right. We're gonna want to. Presumably, here we go. Try to keep from over revving the truck. That was. Little, they got little stutters here and there, so... Oh boy, the... Oh boy. It's very slow to unwind the wheel. That's not ideal. Will we fit, fit through over here? No, I guess we got no choice but to toss it into reverse. Alright, can I use the mirrors? I can. They look to work. Yep. Yeah, as long as you don't go very fast, it, the... The controller seems to work okay. But look at how slow I'm, I'm holding to the right, waiting while it tries to to unwind the wheel. Jeez, that seems very slow. I wonder if I can turn the sensitivity up on that. Turn it directional on. Alright. I guess... The wheel is straight. Come on, directional. No? Do I have to manually turn you off? I guess so. Okay. All right. All right. Figure it out. Yeah, the steering with the con for the controller is very strange. And I'm shocked at how slow the truck is. I mean, we're not carrying anything right now, and it's struggled. It just struggled to go up that hill at 1,500 RPM. It doesn't seem that a, a proper, you know power band of any kind has been simulated for this type of a vehicle. We struggled up that hill as well. And it also seems to just, when I load up the gas, it doesn't hold it in gear. It just kind of lets it coast in neutral. Look at that. Oh, oh, big starter there. Look at that. See this? this that's very strange. That's not, if you're leaving a vehicle in gear, that's not what it does when you, uh, press and then let off the gas pedal. There should be some engine braking going on there. Unless we've got a disabled Jake brake, but I didn't see a button for that. Um, 
think this is a 50 zone. I'm doing 37. I feel like I'm hauling. Is this, uh, yep, it's an 8 speed. That's what I would have expected. Alright, we got a yield sign here. Come on. Oh, the steering is awful at a controller. Jeez. Yep. We gotta remember to turn the directional off ourselves as well. And then, yep, don't forget to shift. Okay. Interesting. I wonder if I can disable the minimap. It's really not... The minimap really isn't necessary, given the big GPS I've got right in the middle of my, my screen. Looks like we're going this way. Be a little tight. Sorry, buddy. Nope, oh, I don't think I hit him. That's good. Come on. Maybe I should just put it in automatic. There's enough. There's enough driving physics jankiness that dealing with the gears seems to be unnecessary. All right, here's the gas station. We did make it, with only minor issues. Park the between the lines until they turn green and get out of the truck. Okay. So, um, there's the. Let's see. Turn the directional off. Oh, there it is. Um, set the parking brake. Am I between the lines, though? Oh, I am between the lines. Look at that. Can I feel it while it runs? I know they do that in real life. Let's try it. See if it gets upset at me. What are we doing? Refuel at least 30 gallons. Oh, okay. Okay. Right. It's not saying the gas. Uh, I guess we'll assume that's gallons, even though gallons says zero. Thirty gallons. Use. Oh my. Oh Oopsie. We might have some flow issues there. All done. I paid a hundred dollars for thirty gallons. That's cheap. <laughs> this was. Uh, this was apparently made before the American fuel prices skyrocketed in the past couple of months. Alright. Now go to the Cantwell store. Alright. Take, take a left out of here. Looks good, looks good. Oh, this wheel! This is awful. And we're taking a right. Now you have to turn the wheel really far to make a turn, which I get. You should, but it needs to unwind the wheel a little quicker for the controller. That's that's crazy. I wonder if it's like that on the. It feels like yeah, it's exactly the same on the on the keyboard, so they should, because the controller has, uh, because the controller is not just an on-off button like a keyboard, they should have a different sensitivity, you know, mapped by default for the controller based on where in the range you are. And just follow this road, the GPS was doing something weird there, and there's some weird stuttering. It's alright. I didn't look to see if my lights are still on. Oh, they were on. I did. I saw them at the, the gas station. My lights are still on. That's good. Most commercial vehicles, most places that run commercial vehicles have a policy in, in place that say you should always have your lights on. It's just a habit I have from doing commercial driving. Park the truck anywhere and go to the shop. Okay. All right, we can do that. There's a nice spot right here. I can find it. Where is it? Does it not render in the? Does it not render the lines in my mirrors? Oh, maybe. Maybe that's the case. Cause I'm, I'm, I swear I'm on top of a parking spot. Yeah, see, there they are. I was trying to use my mirrors to find the lines to make sure I was in them. All right. All right. Park. Turn the ignition off. And we're going to turn the lights off. There we go. 
don't want to drain the battery. I think there was dashboard lights. Yeah, that's interesting. That's not tied to your headlamps. Yeah, great parking job. Okay. Yep, I'm not winning any awards today. All right. Uh, no problem. Shop. Buy three cans of food and two bottles of motor oil. All right. $50 for motor oil? Are you crazy? That's one, I guess. That's two. Cans of food. So I guess we got to do the canned food. And we need three of these. $20 for a can of food. I know stuff's expensive in Alaska, but come on. $50 for motor oil. I'll... Oh my goodness. I'll dig up the dinosaurs myself for that price. Jeez. That's crazy. And yet fuel came out to what was that? 30 bucks for 100 gallons? It was like just over 3 bucks a gallon for diesel? That's wild. Alright. Turn the truck on. Turn the heater on. There's that it glows like that as if to suggest when you turn the truck off that you don't want to leave it there. Uh, low beams. Alright. Pull the parking brake off. Now it wants us to go to an exit. Is that the exit over there? I think it is. Oh, come on, wheel! Wow. It turns so slow. Now that we're at full lock, watch how long it's going to take to get back to straight. Come on. Come on. There you go. Looks like my fuel gauge, most of the gauges don't appear to work. Fuel PSI, it looks like it's zero. I can't really read most of them, actually. Oil temp fuel. I don't know if that's accurate. It's showing, you know, it's a little over half a tank. The air pressure, the air PSI, that's for my air system. That's low. Usually air PSI should be on most commercial vehicles with air brakes. You want it at 80 PSI. It's like your standing amount. Voltage is low at 12, that's usually about 14 when you're on the alternator because you want excess that's charging. Alright, well, let's get rolling. Oh, man, these stutters are, are real rough. I never played Euro Truck Simulator with a controller. To be fair, I've always played it with a with a wheel and pedals, so I can't I can't direct compare them. To be fair, but uh, but yeah, I can see where you know people have have complaints on this. If you expect it to be as realistic as like Euro Truck, this is this is pretty clearly not uh, not very realistic. The physics don't. The physics don't really feel much, you know, beyond like a need, you know, a Need for Speed game or something to that effect. This isn't. I don't think I'd I'd, I'd want to bother going through the hassle to be honest of setting up the set trying to set this up on my my computer that's got the you know the the wheel and the pedals. It would be more effort than it's worth. Um, it doesn't it doesn't feel like it's got a physics engine that's going to take advantage of that. And it would just be a headache. To get all that set up, and then to also, you know, that computer has a triple monitor, so that would be a headache probably to get that, get this game to, to render in that. Looks like the oil level is low. Okay. Does it? I don't have a gauge on that. Stop the truck and open the hood. You need motor oil in the inventory. Well, I know I have it in the inventory. Well, if you say it's low, I guess we're gonna stop. There's really nowhere good to stop. Here we go. This will work. Directional on. Pop it into neutral. Throw our handbrake on. I don't know why it's giving me that flashing thing. Oh, what? What? Okay. okay. Um. A repair. Oh, oh, cool. All right. Oil. Five ounces of oil left. Well, that's not ideal. Right trigger to pour. 
I'm guessing we want to be in the middle, like a normal dipstick. Um, ooh, radiator? Okay, so that can apparently run out of coolant. Or maybe it just, <laughs> they just pretend that it's normal for these engines to just kind of consume these things. Alright, that works. That wasn't too tough. Alright. Um, hmm. Well, I guess we're just gonna go. Can't really see anything. Turn the direction off. Um, it's definitely it's definitely different than than Euro Truck. I mean, or than a, or a, you know or ATS. Um, I did notice on the store page it said where I got the download the demo from. It did say it was just going to be a single player only game. Um, it's a little disappointing. I think the the biggest improvement and change to come to you know the American Trucks the ATS simulator. The ATS franchise, excuse me, um, in the last, whatever it's been, five, ten years since it's been out, has been the addition of the convoys. Now that I've been, now that I've tried, you know, trucking with, with friends, uh, I don't think I ever want to go back. So, it's a little disappointing that it doesn't sound like they're even looking into implementing that here, into this title. But that's going to obviously vary, vary with whether or not you have friends. I mean, obviously, I, I, as you probably expect, obviously, I, I pay mine, you know, to be my friend. But but still, it's nice to have people to occasionally game with, you know. They're well worth the the money on their payroll. That's actually why I started the YouTube channel. I figure, you know, that way I can fund, I can, I can fund the salary, you know, for my, my group, my core group of friends. Yeah, we're hauling. It feels like we're hauling the mail, but we're actually only doing 38 miles an hour, 37 miles an hour. <sighs> but okay. I mean, we are in eighth gear, and it's at 1,750 RPMs. It's, this truck, maybe it's well, it does have big big wheels and tires on it, but the truck is clearly ge not geared for highway speeds, even if even if it didn't have a ridiculously low amount of power. I don't think I don't think the revs would allow us to go. It's interesting that the speedometer goes up to 120 miles an hour. I think that's very it's an awfully hopeful. Come on, up the hill, Bessie. I mean they should just be flying up this hill with no weight on it. I I shudder to think what this is gonna how this is gonna accelerate when we actually put a load on this on this motor. It's like did we opt for the non turbo motor? I don't think they make this um I know that noise, that's the I'm hungry noise in the video game. We so yeah, it's kinda like a rally stage here. Yeah, look at that. We're we're barely topped fifty and we're basically uh we're, we're redlining. That's really you don't wanna you don't wanna rev your diesel motor much past you know, much beyond three thousand RPM. Uh, the brakes aren't that great, which again, yes, it's a big, it's a big truck, but oh, yes, I know. Don't do that to me in the middle of a corner, please. I know it's a big rig, but um, I don't have any. I don't, you know, I, again, I don't have a load, so there's like there's no weight here compared to how this truck is designed to function. So it should stop and accelerate very rapidly. All right, when we get to the place, we'll eat. I'm at twenty percent. Not sure if you just like instantly die when you're at when you're at zero or how that works, but you no, know, I don't intend to find out. There we go. I'm gonna pull up here and then we can it looks like we can have a snack. I have to. I'm not sure if I can access the inventory while I drive the truck or not to hop out. We will find out. All right, we're gonna have to hop out for that anyway, so that works. Pop you on, drop it down to neutral. 
Okay, can access the inventory while I'm in the truck. That's good. Let's have some more reindeer. Hold to eat. There we go. Tasty. Mmm. Looks like I'm getting low on energy. I don't know if I can drink a coffee or, or not. But... Transport office. Sand to you build. Trailer, base trailer. We're going 145 miles for 2600 bucks. That seems a little low to me. Parking, what's this? Doesn't, okay. A little. Can I, can I, oh, okay. Oh, okay, so we have to use the mouse to click on the job. There we go. I should not be having the I'm hungry feeling. Um, can change the view with this button. Oh! Look at that. Alright, well, we can drive like this for a little while. Alright, so there's the trailer. Drive backwards to the trailer. There's a green park. Yep. What's that, though? Is that a, Maybe that's a delivery point. Actually, I kind of want to try this from in the truck. Let's see. Wow, lots of cameras. Let's see if this renders well enough that we can do it from in the truck. Mm, there's definitely a part of the trailer. Can't... I'm sh the mirrors on that side are almost useless. I think I'm a little bit too far to my driver's side. Okay, nope, we got it. Now we can take a look at it. Um, yeah, I'm a little bit too far to the driver's side, as I expected. Hook up the trailer. Okay, so I have the handbrake on. Now, I'm in neutral, at first neutral, and my reverse noises are still going on. Oh, there we go. If we rev it, it fixes it. All right. Go back to in the cab. I think we probably have to get out and go get up ourselves. Cannot lock when engine is running. Really? I have no idea if that's actually a rule or not. Okay, so I know I applied the handbrake when I parked it. So if the handbrake isn't on, it released itself. There we go. I would think you'd want the engine running so that you can test that. You could hook up the air and test it. Manage cables. Oh, so they are going to have us hook up the air. Maybe? Um, um, okay, maybe not. Oh, all right. Pneumatic. I think they're down here on this one. All right. All right. And then we got to lift the trailer. That makes sense. Um, oh, okay. So yeah, look at a direction you press the And apparently, I'm falling asleep. Oh, no, 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 don't do that. Oh, I can use the... Oh, nice. You can use the left stick to do that. Interesting. Now, do I have coffee or anything like that? I don't see any. All right. Oh, well. Um, where's... There's my ignition. I want to... Double check that my lights are on. I haven't seen another car, so we're just gonna leave the high beam on for now. Alright. Now hit the road to you build it. Packs. We gotta go out the way we came. Drive for a little while in the. Oh, uh, this, um, this unwinding steering wheel is gonna be even worse with the load behind us. It's a good looking truck though. I like the really thick, really thick tires on it. That's cool.
bit of a bit of a hill. Definitely seems like it's getting darker. It did say it has a day-night cycle. Yep, there's the time up in the top. Actually, it says it's 8 p.m. I'm surprised it's actually not darker than it is. I know. Oh, don't don't fall asleep on me, please. So, is this gonna be like a mad scramble to get there before I fall asleep, or what? Because um, I'm at 29% energy falling, and I have nothing in my inventory to rectify or address that. It says I have 130 miles to go. Shit. Even at 30, 35 miles an hour, which in this game feels very rapid. That's, uh, that's a long way. Ooh. Wow, some big stutters there. Alright. I really want to, like... Oh! I was on the brakes that whole time, and that was what we had for brakes. Again, we were doing 30 miles an hour. Alright. Um, brakes. Handbrake. Neutral. Let's let it idle. I think I've got enough fuel. I'm at half a gauge of fuel. Grab some planks, patch the holes. I could have, look, there's room over here on the right hand side. We could have been fine without the holes. We'd have gone right by. All right, barricades, remove barricades. Yep, I certainly do need to clear the path because these are, these are solid. All right, here we go. First gear. Speed limit 15 for the bridge. Interesting. Alright, oh. I guess no serious damage was sustained, I suppose. So this is one of the views. It's kind of like a... Oh, now it's a 25 mile speed limit. Where we were before, it was a 50. And the snow just disappears as you go over the bridge. That's interesting. Come on, Bessie. Up the hill. You can do it. 1,450 RPMs. You should be right, right getting into boost here. 1,500. You should be, you should be hauling. The truck really doesn't feel that much heavy, much more heavy, or, or that much slower with a, you know, giant load of sand on it, which is a little disappointing. Um, seems like it's wiggling a bit more, perhaps, in the cab, or maybe that's just because we're on a dirt road, I'm not sure. But, but yeah, not, not wowed physics. Certainly not going to win simulator title of the year here. Yeah, maybe, a, I don't know, maybe it's a little, it is a little slower since I've got the load. And we are actually consuming fuel, which is good. It's, that's a, that mechanic is, is implemented. Twenty percent energy. So, I don't know. And a hundred, hundred miles to go and twenty percent energy. The, uh, I'll tell you what, the numbers are not looking good, folks. Not looking good. Unless we can, not unless there's a button to turn on the turbo. Starting to, starting to wander a bit. Now are people gonna try to pass me illegally? Oh, don't do that! Don't do that! Eighteen percent. I have my high beams on like a jerk. We'll see if they flash me like they do. Nope, they don't flash me like they do in ATS. All right. That's neat. I don't know what's down there, but that's cool. Well, I'm just driving off the road to look at it, but look at that. The scenery is great, I have to say. I mean, the 
getting some stutters, but overall the frames are not terrible. I'm only on a... This computer only has a 3070 in it, so it's not the most powerful computer. And I've got everything set... set basically to... to max. Um, so the game looks... looks halfway decent. I like the way the truck looks. I just wish it drove a little bit more realistically. Maybe a little bit more thought put into kind of... you know, what these trucks make for a power band. How, how adding an exponential amount of weight to the back of a truck makes it behave versus an empty truck, that sort of thing. Also, um, you know, I did I hooked up the pneumatic lines and the electric lines on the trailer, and yet, with my lights on, my taillights are not lit. So. Closed for trucks. Well, that's not ideal. Oh, we're going to be able to sleep. Excellent. I was worried about that. All right, let's get back to this view. Stop the truck and go to sleep. Are they going to get upset if I idle the truck so that I can leave my heater on or what? Oh, look at that. That's nice. Cozy little nap. It affects your energy and your hunger levels. All right, well, we kind of want more energy than that, no? That's it? That's all eight hours gives me? That's, uh, disappointing. I'll sleep for eight hours, I guess. I'm one of these, uh, apparently I'm one of these people that needs, you know, it's like my dog. You need 15, 20 hours of sleep a day. All right. That only put us to 64% energy. Oh, okay. I don't know what that was. Turn the lights back on. Looks like we need wipers. I think I saw wipers. Yep, there's wipers. Alright, and we're still running 51% food, so we're still good on that. I say we hit the road. It, it took my parking brake off for me. That's interesting. It's not, a, not ideal. So am I allowed to cross the bridge now? I, I suppose I am, eh? Since it's not saying I can't. I can't see that corner. Come on. Alright, I guess we'll have to change the camera. Uh, you're not gonna let me by, huh? All right, come on, traffic. Let's go, AI. You gonna move or what? No, I gotta do it myself? All right. There we go, that should give us room to get the back end onto the, onto there. Now the snow is back. Said it might get slippery. My guess is they're going to make me pull over and put the chains on my tires. Speed limit 50. I don't think so. Alright. What do we got? 63 miles to go. It's starting to get slippery. You should put chains on the wheels. No, I'm good. If we get to a, a tall, stop the truck and get out. Make sure you have chains. I'm good. If we get to a uh, steep incline, I will stop and put chains on. It's really not any more slippery than it was before, see? Are we even... I guess there's a texture going on making it look like we're slipping. Okay. You're going to be very upset at me if I don't do this, aren't you? I'm kind of curious now. At first I was not doing it because I'm lazy, but now you're getting so insistent that that you're ma just making me not want to do it. See if you get, will you get even more upset? This should be good. If that were even speeding, this is a 25 zone apparently. Not quite sure why, but. All 
right. Yeah, this, this really isn't that slippery. As, as quickly, as rapidly as I can get this weird controller input to turn the wheel, the, the truck responds to it. Now you won't be slipping. Deliver cargo. Okay, well... I'm glad we made it alive. I was I was real worried there. Just kidding. So neat. Going across like it was really it was it was easier for them to build the road through the through the pond than than go around the pond. That's interesting. The snow is pretty, the snow looks good. I'll give it I'll, I have to say that. Although Lights still don't seem to function on the trailer, which is unfortunate. Oh, blizzard's ended. I think we can turn our lights off of high beam and onto normal and kill the wipers. Uh, where are the wipers are down here? Also, apparently those are pneumatic, just like an old car. Oh, it's pressing. <sighs> okay, not a not a great plan. That's why it's making that noise every time I press a button. So A is mapped to interact with the button, but A is also mapped to put on my handbrake, my parking brake, I should say. So every time I'm touching a button, it's sometimes putting on the parking brake, apparently. There we go. All right. Well, we will remember that for, for next time. If we play this game in its full-fledged release, we will change that mapping. Uh, I don't mind having A as the parking brake. Well, I, mean, I can't really change interact. Maybe I can put interact onto like an X, the X button or something else that which would work, which would work nicer. Uh, not a big deal. All right, what do we got now? 18 miles to go. It'd be nice actually if it showed you that on the dash GPS, and then I'd feel better about turning off that mini map. Alright. We have 43 minutes of recording. It's not bad. Yeah, it really, it really struggles to go up the hills. Um, which, which, like I said, with with a with a load, fair enough, it probably should. But when you're empty, it really, really shouldn't struggle to go up go up a hill as an an empty rig. Oh my, why are they- is, is this a one-way? Are they having me go down the wrong way of a one-way? GPS, come on! Oh, you're killing me. Is that guy stuck on my trailer? Or are we able to get off? Looks like we're able to get off. Yeah, that was a... We're not gonna make it out before him. Oh boy. These dark-colored trucks really need to have- need to have the lights on! Hungry again, 23%. We might just make it. We might just make it. You're almost there. Yes, I can. I can read a map. Alright, truck. Car. Let's go. Get by me. There we go. That button to turn the direction off. I press the wrong button. All right. All right. Now what? Up uh, to deliver the cargo, you must park your trailer on the mark spots. Parking your cheese affects your final payment. Architecture parking in freestyle gives you no money. Oh, this is just like ATS. Yep, we always go for the bonus. Big, big money bonds. The bones. Some good English right there. Solid. Okay. All right. So if I let's see. So there's forward. There's the backwards. All right. They kind of hide this on you, huh? So what you get is determined on where you stop. I guess. So let's kick it out that way. You want to approach further. This is going to be difficult to do with the slow moving wheel the way that this is controller is set up. 
You have to do it. You're gonna just have to do it everything very slowly, because the wheel just doesn't. The tires don't return to where you want them to be quickly enough. Uh, let's try second gear, maybe third gear. Just getting around this corner is gonna be a nightmare with the steering wheel being as as slow to respond as it is. Oh, come on, steering wheel. I started moving too early. Yep, so now I'm not going to make it. I had backed up enough, but... Let the steering wheel do its thing. There we go. There's a button to change where it's focused on, isn't there? No. I guess not. I feel like we're clear of that. Yep, we are clear of that. Alright. I'm not sure if I can see out of the mirror. Man, this steering wheel is killing me! This is bad. Look at how long it takes for the tires to move. But it's holding left that whole time. That's rough. Alright, um... I'm not sure if I can see the mirrors well enough to do this from in the cab. Let's try. Let's, let's take a look here. Yeah, I know I'm hungry. 9%. Alright. So we have to go on the far side of that trailer. So I should see my trailer starting to turn. There we go. I also can't see the marking on the ground in the mirrors the way you can in, in ATS. That's unfortunate. I think I got no choice but to do it from out here. Yep, I did miss it a little bit. I'm hungry. I'm falling asleep. I need to get this. I apparently need to get this turd parked. And now we're in a tree. Camera difficulties all around. All right. I don't think that's gonna get it. No, it's just so slow to react to the steering wheel or to the input from the controller. Let's. Get it to stop making that noise. There we go. Uh, I, I ate! Why are you making that noise? Don't do that! I gotta make sure we don't hit the nose on that fence. Now we gotta make sure we don't hit the nose on that fence. Yeah, the wheel is the wheel is just so slow. All right, you know what's probably the easiest and quickest is if you basically got it perfect here, so you just go forward. It's a little trick. If you're taking your driving test, you don't want to do that because they deduct points every time you pull up. But in American Truck Simulator, my friend who struggles, my friend who struggles with backing it up, that was the a tip I gave him early on. You can get it get it darn perfect and then just pull forward until the truck is essentially able to just go into the spot straight the trailer and then you uh then you just have to go straight back <sighs> is that really not good enough come on wheel straighten oh that's just beyond frustrating i mean i guess with a steering wheel you wouldn't have that problem but but I should be. <sighs> Alright, so that's five stars. Um, I guess we have to get out. I thought it would give me a prompt to, like, say complete parking, like in ATS, but I did see a glowing door over here. Park, trailer. I did. I did. I did. 
How do I get paid? Um, maybe they want me to disconnect from it? Make sure we're... Alright, we're gonna turn our ignition off. Make sure the parking brake is set. Gotta put this down first. Mess with the cables. <sighs> Pull those out, maybe. Maybe. Oh, it makes me hold it. Okay. Thought it would just return them to their homes. Alright, now we should be able to just disconnect the lock. Alright. Go. Parking bonus, zero dollars. Why did I do all that? And it slowed me down. Look at my arrival time. I, I, you'd think green would be good, not yellow. But I mean, I know that's the top score. I'm, I'm very confused by that. Okay. You have completed this. Yeah, okay. Alright, well that, ladies and gentlemen, is the Alaskan Truck Simulator demo. Let me know what you thought in the comments. Um, yeah, I don't know, maybe it might be worth keeping an eye on. I'll, I'll put it that way. Maybe there'll be lots of updates to the physics and it'll be worthwhile. Um, so anyway, I hope you had fun. Hope you enjoyed watching. If there's any other demos or early access games that you, you know, want to either want to see or perhaps they're they're like really broken and awful to play, and you kind of want to you want to see them, but you don't want to play them yourself, so you want to watch me struggle through them, uh, put it in the comments. Maybe I'll pick it up. I've got my eye on a couple. Uh, those are always kind of fun, you know, playing the games that people want to see play. They want to see them play because they don't, you know, they don't want to struggle through them themselves. Sometimes those are fun. Uh, plus, it gives me lots to complain about, which that is what Grumpy Man does. Alright. Have a great day, everyone. Goodbye.